Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, oh shit, closer, closer. I didn't have a monthly favorites for this month because um, I didn't really try anything new. Um, I mean, long enough to like be able to talk about it in this video uh, because I was in New York for nearly all of the month. And uh, so I decided to just talk about what I bought at Sephora. Well, it was mostly Sephora. I think I included some stuff uh, from Target as well. Before I get started with that though, um, this this isn't a sponsored video, but uh, for those of you that went to my meet and greet, you got like that gift bag. And there were a few brands that um, sponsored that, I guess, in the sense that they gave us free products to put in the bags to give out to the people that went to the meet and greet. So before I get started with my Sephora haul, I guess, um, I'm gonna talk about the products that we received from these sponsors um, before I get started with that. <laughs> Um, I have a little message from my manager. <laughs> Thank you. So. I was happy to uh, meet you all. I know, she's becoming her own video now. <laughs> Before, she, she really just wants to be on camera. <laughs> She's like, oh no, I'm a Quanjo, so I want to. Uh, can I say thank you too? Ah, yeah. I really thank you. I want to say thank you. Maybe we have another fan meetup. Maybe. Oh, well, we're gonna have one. In maybe LA. Yeah, you know it's gonna be LA. It has to be LA. So I'm gonna work hard on make a good meetup. And find more sponsors, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna have $600 tickets <laughs> where you can like sleep over at my house. So, Alright, now on to the real video. Bye bye! Oh Alright, starting off with. Of course, Troy Adeke. Um, they were like the first ones to hop on that shit. They were very excited to help us out. They sent like a huge box of like a hundred cushions and each one was like individually boxed with a ribbon and me and Joe know them for doing all these extra stuff and we're just like, oh yeah, we're fine, you know, but they're like, no, they, they always want to go the extra mile. So that's um, what makes them such a, they're really, really nice. They provided the A plus cushion and I don't have it on me because um, we gave away all the ones that um, they gave us and I ran out of my own one, but they gave us the A plus and the H plus cushion. I have reviews of these already. The A plus is really good for, I, mean, I don't even really categorize them as makeup. I categorize them as skincare because that's what it really is. It's 99% skincare, 1% makeup. The A plus is really good for acne prone and sensitive skin. And the H plus is good for those that have more uh, damaged skin, I guess, because that's actually the cushion that they use when you get the Troy Pill treatment. Do keep in mind though that the H plus is a little bit is more pale than the A plus. I think the A plus is a good all around cushion for most Asian skin tones, um, or just this skin tone, I guess. And then uh, we've got things from the Pauline. Now, the Pauline is a brand is like a scent fragrance brand, and we gave away these stick perfumes, but a lot of people thought that these were lip balm. And I even got an email from someone saying, oh my god, Edward, like, I put this on my lips and my lips taste bad. Is this perfume? It says stick perfume on the box. I mean, mind you, it is in tiny words, but on there it said solid perfume. And I probably should have clarified more, but it's it's solid perfume. It comes in two sizes. You got this small, like, lip chapstick looking one right here. And then we've got a larger one right here. And all the scents are very um, unisex. It's not a very, like, I mean, there's like one like sweet scent, I guess, but even then it's not overly like fruity or all that. Um, it's very like high end smelling. It's very Joe Malone to me at least. I know one of the, I think Magnolia, um, my manager said Magnolia smells exactly like Chloe, that famous perfume. And I just like to put it on my wrists and the back of my ears. And I, they actually last a long time and they're actually really strong. I think that they make, they're really great for portability and um, I think the scents are just really nice. And then we've got some cleansing bars from G9 Skin. These are the Wonder Eraser, like cleansing soaps, I guess, but then they don't have the ingredients in like regular soaps that could just like strip your skin of like moisture and like all the like the good stuff. It's actually a really gentle um, cleanser that's actually good for both double, for just for double cleansing. I've actually used this before myself, and what I do is I add just a little bit of water just to make it a little bit creamy and then get some on my hands and massage my makeup off. I remove that with water and then I go in again for my second cleanse and the bar, it's, it's very soft. Like even though it's like a foamy type of cleanser, it's really soft and creamy rather than like harsh, like drying kind of foam. So it makes it really easy for like, if you're kind of lazy when it comes to double cleansing, you don't want multiple cleansers. Um, this is a really good uh, 
all-in-one kind of cleanser and the ingredients are really simple a lot of the ingredients are actually really natural in here I don't when I look at the ingredient list, ingredients list myself I don't see anything where I'm like what the fuck is that you know what I mean and they've got three types the walnut one is good for unclogging pores and kind of removing dead skins like exfoliating almost chemically in a way dead skin off the surface of this surface of the skin <laughs> and it really deep cleanses but it's not again it's not really stripping we've got the banana one which is similar to the walnut one but this is more of a moisturizing formula so it's good for dry skins and then we've got the strawberry one which is also similar to the other ones but this is more targeted towards um acne prone skin because it does have that tea tree in it g9 skin also provide us with some um lip products we've got the color top tint and um i heard that this duck is famous in china i don't know why but Apparently that's the case. Very similar to the Pony Effect um, Deep and Pure Lip Tint. This isn't the really, like it's more like the traditional watery kind of tint, but it's almost a little bit thicker. I mean, it's not like a cream type of formula. It's still like a watery type of tint, but it's slightly more, has a bit of like meat to it so that it really like stains the lips for like all day wear. So if you're one of those people that just can't be bothered putting lipstick and like reapplying throughout the day and you need that like really long wearing uh, tint, then um, the Color Talk tint is like a tint I would recommend. But if you are into lipsticks, the G9 Skin First Lipstick is really, really pretty. It's really, really gorgeous. Reminds me a lot of the Bia. Um, thank you. It reminds me a lot of the Bia Velvet lipstick in that it's just a really soft, smooth lipstick. It's one of those matte ones. Um, it's not like a long wearing matte liquid lipstick. It's not like that, but it makes the lips look really, really smooth. So if you're like me, you have like the dry wrinkly lips, but you're really wanting to try lipstick and you're into lipsticks, then uh, I really recommend these because um, the formula is just so nice. It makes your lips look like cashmere. Skin Miso also provided us with some products. Um, I haven't actually tried this um, blackhead thing, but Joan was telling me um, that this is actually quite famous in that um, if you're one of those people that want if you like removing like blackheads like I don't really have that problem because I don't so I don't really use blackhead strips and all that I actually use them more for like removing the baby hair off my nose um, but this according to her this is good for removing blackheads from the nose but it's more gentle and you're not like ripping your you're not ripping a strip off your nose and it's one of those multi-step ones so um, she said this is actually really good and then we've got the pore corset serum I haven't tried this one myself either but I heard it's uh so it's sold on wish trend so I heard that um, this is one of their more popular products in that it uh, it's one of those serums that really actually like makes your pores like tighten like physically and it's supposed to help balance moisture and oil on the skin so you're not like overproducing oil too much but you're still maintaining that level of moisture that you need and then last but not least we've got lol lol <laughs> they actually provided a ton of products so i'm gonna go through each one really quick we've got this giant cushion right here this is the lol pang pang big sun cushion it's basically one of those like sunscreen cushions that you can use all over your body and the puff is huge so you can cover quite a bit so it's really great for when you go to the beach then we've got the ice blanc pact and this is actually a really interesting part it's like a it's one of those uh, how do you describe it? it's like a cream foundation um like in sort of like a cushion form almost it's not a, a natural cushion because it's just a solid solid like makeup product remember remember when cc creams were a thing like it would start out like this white formula then you when you rub it into the skin it turns into like a skin tone it's basically it's like a solid cream cc cream i believe this is meant to be used over the body so it's just like the last product the sun cushion so if you have that unevenness on like your legs or your arms or maybe you're going out to the beach or something and you want that coverage but you also need that sun protection this is a product i uh recommend checking out We've also got the Kiss Radiant Serum Cushion. Uh, the formula, it's just a cushion, but the formula is more on the, because it has a serum in it, it's more uh, moisturizing, but it does give full coverage. So if you have dry skin, but you actually still have maybe unevenness or like you have acne that you want to cover up, this is definitely worth checking out because a lot of cushions that tend to be full coverage are more on the matte side. This is the Super Skinny Gel Eyeliner. If you like the idea of a pencil because it's easy, you can just draw on your eyeliner, but you like the formula of a gel more, but you can't be bothered to pull out that like extra brush and dip it into like the pot and all that. Um, this is like the best of both worlds because it's a pencil, but uh, the formula is of a gel, so it's really long wearing. We've got the Lasting Eye Paints. These are like a kind of liquid eyeshadow and they're extremely pigmented, so I recommend just using like a little, like a tiny amount. Um, especially because they don't dry down. Like if you put a thick 
layer. It's not that it dried down to like a long wearing finish. So um, I think it's really good for like a light wash of color over the lids. So I would maybe put one or two dots on the lids and blend it out with my finger like a brush. And then you'll have like a really pretty wash on the lids. And then you can build eyeshadow on top of that or you can just leave it like that, maybe eyeliner, mascara. And then last but not least, the serum ink tints. These are, if you want the long wearability of a lip tint, but you have dry lips like me and uh, stains and lip tints can often, like especially just the watery ones that just stain your lips, can often make the lips look more dry uh, because there's, sometimes they have a lot of alcohol or, some, or something in them. Uh, but these ones, they're tint, but they have like serum and in them and they're supposed to be more moisturizing, so they give that almost like a glossy finish. So those were all the products from the sponsors that helped provide products for you guys that went to the Mean Greed. Um, thank you again to them, and now on to my Sephora haul. Alright, so let's start off with some palettes because these are like huge and they're like kind of just staring at me. I got two highlighter palettes. This one I've already shown, the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette in my kind of get ready with me, my daily makeup in New York City video. There are two versions, this is the Pink Sands edition. It's the lighter palette and then we've got the Golden Sands I believe, um, which is for deeper skin tones. <clears throat> or it's just more warm. In general, you've got three powder highlighters here, and this one here is like a kind of cream highlighter. For her, for Huda, she was really into combining her highlighters with oils, so it gives her that really like natural, like but high shine finish. So what she did was combine shea butter and like pearl pigments that you would put in a highlighter to create this product, which is really interesting. It's like a cream highlight, basically. Um, that's it's really just a cream highlight, but you can use it as like a base for your the powder highlighters that are included. So. Um, they're one, not only more intense, but they have that base so they stick and last longer. And honestly, because of the formula of this, it really gives like a natural, like, especially if you have textured skin like me on top of the skin, like on top of the cheekbones, it'll help you achieve the more natural looking glow without compromising like the look, because highlighter can, can make you look, um, like really, give you like really textured looking skin. Um, especially if you have acne scarring like me. So I do go in with a soft hand when I work with these powders because they can look really like too strong for me. The Sun Dips Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, super intense highlighters, more on the warm tone side, uh, so really good for my skin tone. Just like the Huda Beauty one, if I use too much like or use like a really fluffy brush, um, I can end up making my like cheeks look really textured. So I go in with more of like a powder, uh, fan brush and I find that really, I still get like that, like a, this is what I'm wearing right now. And it really gives that super intense highlight, but um, it applies more naturally, more thinly on the skin. So it's not like chunks of highlighter on the skin. It's not gonna like make the skin look really textured. Overall, I mean, they're really, they're really intense highlighters. I mean, what, what else can you say? This one I also showed in that one video. This is the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. This is the plastic casing version, so you can pop out um, the pants from here when you use them up and then replace them individually. But I like the fact that it includes like cool tone um, contouring shades, one in the lighter shade and one in the deeper shade, but there is still a warmer uh, contour in there so I can use it for like bronzing, I guess. And the highlighters, this one I use a lot, um, and I'm, you know, I do like that they include like a banana, a banana color, um, and I find that that, well, after I set my whole face, if I find that my dark circles are still a little bit there, using this really like cancels them out. I don't really use this one up here. I don't really have a use for it, but um, I'm often grabbing this palette for my contour that I've been um, doing lately. But again, just like the highlighter palettes, this is from Girl, she's from Sephora. So I wasn't really used to this level of pigmentation because I'm so used to Korean level of pigmentation in terms of contour. So um, it's, it can get intense, like really intense. So especially for those that have like um, really fair skin, I'd be very careful. Following along with powders, I have two loose powders here. I bought the Becca one because it's because in Sephora they had like the section of like just setting powders. The soft light blurring powder. I don't know how I feel about this because uh, lately I've just been into using like like lightly setting my whole face with like a velour puff. I'll put the powder in my hand and I'll you know I'll load up my velour puff and then lightly set all over my face. But I, for my skin type, I don't think this is really good because while it does blur like fine lines and pores and it really makes the skin look smooth, I think for me, you probably need to use a lot. Um, I find this is really good for baking and I do like that it's more of like a um, skin tone color. It's not like stark white, so um, it's easier to work with, but, oh, and also it doesn't leave the skin super matte. It does actually have like a, uh, it actually does have a bit of, I'm not wearing it today, but it does leave a sheen on the skin. So it's not like flat and matte, it makes you look dead and dry. 
it's not exactly like super mattifying. So for my oily skin, it can look cakey by the end of the day. So for me, I need to use, if I'm using this, I need to use it like if I'm baking. That way, for, for some reason, that way it just lasts better. I don't know, I like using that way because especially when I bake, it'll smooth everything out or on, in this area, which is my problem area. Uh, but this is one of those powders that it's really expensive and it is kind of finicky for my skin. Um, so I need to use it like in a certain way. It's one of those powders, but it's really pretty, I guess. The Kat Von D, on the other hand, for a powder that you can get in Sephora, I think $30 is actually a pretty good price for this because you get a ton of powder in there compared to the other powders that are available in Sephora. And the powder is extremely finely milled, so you get that almost HD finish. So you're gonna get like the smoothed out fine lines, smoothed out pores and all that. And it's great for baking, but also it's really great for like if you just have like a powder brush and you want to set lightly in certain areas or, or all over the face. It's just a really great basic powder, but if you want something from Sephora, Oh, this is the uh, Velour Puff I talked about. This is from Laura Mercier. It, it was like $11 or something, or $15. Really expensive for like, honestly, puff. you can get this at like CVS probably. It's really huge, so it makes it really quick. Um, like I said, I dip the powder in my hand and then I kind of like work it in, like tap off the excess and like I set my face. Uh, I find it works a lot better with the Kat Von D one rather than the Becca one. I got a few um, Urban Decay stuff from Nordstr Nordstrom Rack. And I was really surprised at how, because I know you can get expensive stuff in Nordstrom or TJ Maxx for much cheaper. I didn't think it would be this cheap. The Urban Decay Brow Box, it's just a powder brow product. Um, you've got two shades here. These are kind of like grayish brows, which are really good for my eyebrows. And it's got a wax in it that I use sometimes. Um, but at the bottom, you do get tweezers and two angled brushes that apply the powder really well. And especially for me, because I like to have really sharp brows. There's not much else to say about this. The powders are really pigmented uh, and they're really smooth and long wearing. So I like that about this. I got the D Slick from Urban Decay. Um, I do have the All Nighter one, but I prefer this a lot more because I actually do notice that it helps control my oils. Because I bought this from Nordstrom Mac, I only paid $10 for this small one. And I believe the full size is like uh, $18. But originally it's so far it's like 35 or something like that. But uh, this is a really good setting spray. The um, All Nighter Eyeliner, uh, I was kind of disappointed by this. It's super easy to use because the formula is so creamy and so smooth. And it does like dry really quickly. But on my oily eyelids, it doesn't last that long throughout the day. And at the end of the day, it does a thing where like you can see it like on the bottom lash line. And it look really tired. If you wear eyeliner, you probably know what I'm talking about. But it just didn't really last that long for me. So... Um, if you have dry eyelids or you're more of like a normal skin type, then I'd probably, I'd recommend this because it's like everything else about it is amazing. It's just that it doesn't last long for my eyes. These are some Buxom uh, plump liners that I bought. I also, again, showed these in my one Get Ready With Me video and I got this because of Pony. And actually, if you go to the Sephora website, Hush Hush and the color she actually used, because I thought it was discontinued, but they just don't have it in store. It's something you have to get online. Apparently they're both sold out online. I have a feeling it has to do with Pony. But uh, Hush Hush, if you want to see what it looks like on my actual lips, you can go watch it or I'll, like, I'll include like maybe a screenshot here. But um, Hush Hush is just like a nude, like a pinky brown color. And then we've got Cloak and Dagger. I believe in Pony's video she used, I forgot the name of it, but uh, she used like a brick red. This is like a brick red sort of color. I really love the way they look combined and they make the lips look super like plump but because they're like a they're actually a lip liner so they're that matte texture i feel like it makes my lips look way bigger rather than like using like, like a glossy kind of lip color so um and also they're slightly more long wearing than like just a regular lipstick or something um because they're you know matte lip liners but um i've been obsessed with these lately and to get them the only thing is that you have to sharpen them because they are pencils um i bought a sephora Pencil sharpener this is really good because it doesn't like catch onto the pencil and like you know when you're sharpening pencil and like stops. This is it's really smooth with this one. Uh, oh and also these have like a lip brush at the end, so if you need that, it's there. Uh, what else? Um, I did go to Target for a few things. I actually don't have one. I got the Elf Beautifully Bare powder. At first I didn't really like it, but after I found like I guess like the correct way to use it, um, I would. I really, really, really like it. It's a really good powder. I don't use the sponge that's included with it. I actually use like one of those, it's like a mini velour puff that came with my Clio Nudism powder. Um, I find that that applies it beautifully because at first, when I first tried it, I put it on, like I still did it the same way I usually do. I kind of dip in a little bit into the powder and I uh, tap off the excess and then I apply it, but 
it went on really like stark and chalky, but I really like patted it in and blended it out. And I noticed over the next hour or two, it really like, I don't know what they put in it, but it makes the skin look so smooth, almost more so than like an HD powder, for me at least, what I noticed. You know, it just made my skin look super matte, but like a really pretty matte, not like a super dry matte. I don't know what it is, but if you need like a setting powder, because uh, for me, I don't always use setting powder because sometimes I want like a bit of dew, but if you're the person that likes to just always set their makeup, I really recommend that um, e.l.f. powder because it makes the skin look out of this world, but don't use the sponges in it. Oh my god, here I am talking about it like I don't have it. It's literally in my hand right here. Anyway, yeah, I use this kind of puff. Um, this again is from my Clio one. Dip in, I bought the excess, and like, it just, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. It just makes the skin look smooth, poreless, and really pretty. And because it's, it has color to it, it's not gonna give you that white cast. I know at uh, KCON, at actually Jones panel, someone asked how you can deal with like, and uh, it was a girl that was asking with, she had a much deeper skin tone. She was asking how to avoid white cast. I definitely recommend using a colored powder, like maybe even a powder foundation to set your makeup. Uh, of course you wanna use a light layer. You don't wanna use like, a, especially if you have a full coverage foundation, you don't need to put like a heavy layer of powder foundation. So I recommend setting with like, a lightly a colored powder foundation. Anyway, um, I also got this from e.l.f. It's the liquid eyeshadow. Um, and it's just like, just like the other liquid eyeshadow I talked about earlier in the video. It's just a pretty liquid eyeshadow. I mean, it's more of a matte formula. Like this color right here, um, Blushing Rose is a really gorgeous neutral eye color or eye shadow shade. Uh, very, it almost mimics the uh, color on the lids that naturally occur in some people. So that's why I think this would be really pretty if you like want a one eyeshadow look and you want to wear just like eyeliner and then eyelashes. Um, and it's e.l.f. so it's really inexpensive and um, it's really, really pretty. If you're not experienced with liquid eyeshadows though, I definitely recommend um, just dotting it on first and blending with your finger. You don't want to start off with too much. And then I've got this blush from Milani, which is actually almost in a similar like color family as that liquid eyeshadow. This is the Romantic Rose Powder Blush. The smell is a little off-putting because it smells like rubber, like a rubber eraser. But anyway, um, it's like the description says, an ultra silky soft powder blush that delivers a perfect amount of color, easy blend on its cheeks. It's really smooth, but it's not so powdery that you're gonna go in, like you need to like tap lightly. It's, um, it's easy to work with basically. You can start off lightly and then really build it up, but um, you're not gonna get super extreme pigment from the get-go. So it's really easy to uh, build up and work with. And the color, this color in particular, is like a really pretty, like dusty rose color. So I think it's, um, oh lord, swatching with my finger, I like really go in, so you get that that really strong pigment. But um, you can see right there, it's a oh, that's so fun. Oh god, I want to put it on right now, but not now, not now. I already have makeup on. Oh, and also this thing. Uh, this is another one that was in my get ready with me. This is a cream to powder blush. This is more of like a corally kind of color. Again, more on like the natural, like. This almost, you would see this color in some people's cheeks, maybe people that have like freckles, they tend to have that, that bit of blush to their cheeks naturally, and that's kind of that color. This is also on the, the natural side, but it's more of like a fun kind of pop of color, as opposed to that dusty rose kind of color, which is more like sensual. All right, so that's basically what I got for my haul. It's a little bit weird seeing me like talk about so many American products, because this is a K-beauty channel, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, or if you weren't paying attention, you just had this playing off in the background. I hope that helped as well. Um, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Oh, and if you're again, I'm gonna I'll list the products down below if you want to check them out. Bye bye. I'm